In this video, we are going to write a carousel or a slideshow from scratch using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We are not going to use any libraries, but instead, we are going to configure the scrolling behavior of the browser to get that nice animation of switching between slides. If you enjoy this content and you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. It makes a big difference. Thanks. This is the carousel that we are implementing. I uh, prototyped it quickly in Adobe XD. Uh, so basically we have these uh, three rectangles with three different colors, yellow, green, and uh, purple, and we can uh, navigate between them with the left and the right arrows. Of course, you can replace these rectangles with images or cards or any other components that you need. So we have this uh, Visual Studio Code project that has uh, on only has these two images for the left and right arrow. So if we open this one, you will see that this is the left arrow and the other one is the right arrow. I will uh, post a link in the video description with uh, these um, images that you can use in your, in your own project with these icons. And we're going to start by creating an index.html file, index.html. And in Visual Studio Code, we just type uh, exclamation mark and it fills out this uh, boilerplate HTML that we can modify. So title, we would do title carousel. And first we are going to create a div for our component. So we type dot component, creates a div with class component. And in here, we're going to add uh, the two images for the left and right arrows. So image source uh, left dot SVG. Uh, the alternative description will be go to previous slide. And uh, we're going to duplicate this line with uh, shift alt down and replace it with write.svg. And it will be go to next slide. And uh, if we open this one, yeah, we see the two arrows next to each other. Uh, next between them, we're going to add another div with class uh, carousel. And uh, in here, we're going to add three divs for each individual slide. So it's going to be dot, they will have the class slide. So slide one, this will be first one, second one, third one. And um, so now we're going to start adding a CSS in the head. We're not going to create a separate CSS file. It's easier to see it this way. So. Uh, the tag is style. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the slides um, a fixed size. So we're going to have them with width 200 pixels and uh, height 200 pixels. And uh, I'm, I'm going to give them border one uh, pixel solid black just to see them. And let's see. Okay, so we see that they were um, they were added with uh, this uh, size, but they are uh, their layout is uh, vertical and we want them laid out horizontally. So the next thing, we're going to change the display for a carousel to flex just to have them um, horizontal. So we're going to select carousel, display, flex. So this will make them next to each other. And also we want the same thing for the component in order to have the left arrow and uh, right arrow to the left and right of our carousel. So it will be component also display flex. And we see now they are laid out horizontally. We want to add a bit of space between the arrow and this component. So for carousel, we're going to add margin. And we're going to use the margin property with two arguments. So the first one would be top and bottom, and the one, the second one would be left and right. So it will have zero top and bottom, and um, left and right will do 10 pixels. Yeah, this is good. Maybe a bit more, 15 pixels. Okay, very good. And um, now we, we can do the same thing for the slides. We want to add some space between them. So we're going to do margin. Top and bottom will be zero. Left and right, let's do 20 pixels. 
So yeah, we see that now they have some space between them. And uh, next we're gonna add the background color to the slide. So we're gonna give each individual slide a different ID. So this one will be slide one. This one will be slide two. And the third one will be slide three. And uh, now we can set background color individually. So slide one will be, I think it was yellow, yellow slide two. Background color, I think it's green. And uh, slide three. Background color, I think it's purple. Yeah. And we can uh, remove the border right now. So this line, just remove it. And we have them uh, like this. The main idea of this project is that we are going to configure the browser scrolling behavior to, to get that uh, nice uh, animation of switching between the slides. In order to do this, we need to restrict the width of this, um, of this container between the two arrows. And this will introduce a horizontal scrolling that we then control with the right and left arrows. So we're going to start by setting a fixed width to the carousel. So we're going to set the same width that our slides have, which is uh, 200 pixels. And we're also going to set a border of one pixel solid just to see what's happening. So here, uh, what actually happened is that the carousel has display flex and um, the slides are flex items, which by default, they have a flex shrink of one. And this means that if there's not enough space in order to fit the width of the of their parent, they will try to shrink if it's allowed. And by default, it is allowed, but we're gonna disable this by setting flex shrink equals zero. And we'll see that now the width of the contents of this carousel is uh, greater than what the allocated size is. But we can control uh, what happens in this case by the overflow X property. And uh, we're going to set scroll for now. And if we go to the MDN reference, we see an example right here. So we have this container with dotted line. And by default, the content is wider than um, the container and it will just overflow. That's the default behavior. We can also set it to hidden and uh, it will truncate the um, content or a scroll, which is um, what we did um, what we did in our case. And um, next, we, we are going to add the code that controls the scrolling left and right. So we're going to add a script tag right before body. Type script in here. Uh, it's better to add the JavaScript before uh, at the end of the document because it doesn't block the rendering. So we're going to add a function called go right. And we need to select this carousel. We're going to use document query selector. Query selector returns the first element that matches our selector. In our case, the selector is a class carousel and we only have one. And uh, we're going to set the scroll left property and we're going to add uh, 240 pixels to the scroll bar. Uh, why 240 pixels? Because each slide is 200 pixels wide and they also have a 20 pixel margin left and right. So if we scroll between uh, slide one and slide two, it's going to be 200 pixels for slide one, then um, 20 pixels for the right margin of slide one and 20 pixels for the left margin of slide, slide two. So it's 240 pixels. And um, now, if oh, we need to set it to the image on click property. So we call this function go right. And now if we try it out, we see that it switches to, uh, it, it scrolls, but the scroll is automatic. And what we actually want is to set scroll behavior smooth. And um, if we look at what it does, it, it, the, it makes that smooth transition between, uh, between slides. And now we need to do the same thing for, for the left arrow. So in here, um, 
we need to this time we need to subtract 240 and uh, we're going to rename this to go left so here on click on click go left all right we see it um, it, it works uh, pretty well but the problem now is that the uh, the scrolling in starts at includes the margin of the our slide. So this twenty pixel margin by default we start here, and we actually want wanted to start where the actual content, which is the the first green pixel, and for this we are going to use the scroll snapping. So we're going to do scroll snap type in the carousel with X mandatory and um, it, for the slides we're going to do scroll snap align and it's going to be start and this will snap to the beginning of our slides so if we look here we'll see that if we click right it will set the scroll at the beginning of the container and also if we if we use the the scroll bar so if we just go if we go just a little bit it'll it'll snap back to the green slide or if we do more than half it will snap to the purple one which is um which is very good and now we only need to do a bit of cleanup so just remove this border remove the scroll bar and uh, we should be good to go so remove this one and uh, overflow x instead of scroll we're going to change it to hidden and if we check it now we see that it's exactly the component from the beginning of the video the one made in adobe xd that's it for today i will post the source code in the video description please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content thanks